Okay, so this is side, side, side similarity. So in side, side, sim side similarity, we know absolutely nothing about the angles, but we do know something about the proportionality of the sides. So we want the ratios of the corresponding sides of one triangle to be equal to the ratio of the corresponding sides in the second triangle, or we want the two triangles to be proportional. So we want one to be double, triple, one and a half times, 1.2 times, whatever it might be, we want those equation, those ratios to be equivalent. So for example, what that might look like for us is if I were to take my two and my four, make it two to four, then go to the other one, one to two, make that one to two. Are those equal? Yes, two fourths is the same thing as one half. Does that happen for all three sides? Yes, all three of those fractions are equivalent, and so they are proportional, or the two triangles can be proven similar using side-side-side similarity. Okay, the last and final way that we can prove that two triangles are similar is through side-angle-side similarity. So in side-angle-side similarity, we want the included angle and then the two sides to be proportional. So for example, if I knew that H... E over AR, so this, ang this side over this side was proportional or the ratios were equal to EZ over AS, okay? So nothing's congruent, it's just that their ratios are equivalent. So maybe like this one and this one. Then I also need the included angle, just like side angle side congruency. So that would mean I would also need angle E and angle A. Angle E would have to be congruent to angle A. If I have all that information, so either they give me this ratio proportionality and they give me this angle measures, or they give me the congruency, and then they give me numbers for the side lengths that I could prove that they were proportional, then I can prove that the two triangles are similar. So I could do this. The two triangles would be similar. And we still have all the same other rules where we write our two triangles correctly. So triangle HEZ would be similar to triangle RAS, where HE and RA are together and EZ and AS are together. Okay, and then we also would want E and A to be together. So that's still important. Okay, last thing that's super important, guys, is we have these three, four different ways that we can prove similarity. So we have angle, 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 similarity, angle, angle, similarity, side, 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 similarity, and side, angle, side, similarity. If you do not write that similarity symbol, then you cannot write that the two triangles are similar. You cannot use side, side, side without the similarity symbol. That means side, side, side means congruent. You have to have this guy, the little tilde, if you want to say that the two triangles are similar. If you leave that off, it'll be wrong. So make sure that you are completing your statements with our similarity symbol with the little tilde. That's it, guys.